care deeply about your PC, Jacob. I really do. I want the best for you. Alright, for anyone that's watched this channel, this is Greg's serious face. Whenever Greg's being serious, this is his face. Look how serious he looks. He wouldn't possibly want to screw McLovin out of his new PC, would he? Oh, whoops, I actually jam I jammed the oh SATA my cable God. into your graphics card. <laughs> there we go. Oh my God, Greg. It was just wedged in there. Um, oh, people are going to not be seeing this. <laughs> you might not want to show them this. Actually, you never know. Can we both. please do like a montage at the end of this video where it's like, like we're trying to be serious with like how good it looks and play like really weird dubstep music? It's got like chopped up vocals in it. <laughs> Can we do yeah, that? It's really good, but it's yeah, like it, 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 it's like it's like we're like trolling people, thinking that it's like you know one of the best PCs ever built, uh, and it's just like actually completely trash. Can we please do that? You got the part that you just broke? Oh, dude, sweet! They bring stickers. <laughs> oh no, they're not stickers. I'm about to say we're about to sticker this bad boy up. This looks like like a radiator from like a 1905. Like four T bucket. Put these back in. Did you plug it in? Yeah, most of them. Most of them? Yeah. <laughs> except, <laughs> except for one. What's the one? The hard drive LED. What? Oh, it's only the. It only shows up. up I'll show you. What? Well, I want the hard drive LED. Oh, it's literally like the most subliminal thing you've ever seen. It, it's, what does it do? It just. It's a little tiny little light up here that goes. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, I want that. If your hard drive's working, when are you ever gonna use that? I don't know. I just exactly. think it'll be cool. It'll be cool. Yeah. God, also, the Clevin's getting popped. I also replaced the LED fan back. Oh, I noticed that. This piece of crap, like cheap black one. It's not even name branded. It's just a. Dude, out of all of these boxes that you have. Yeah. Okay, including one that fell. Yeah. You didn't want to give me a fan that was decent. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm giving you a $150 case and a water cooler radiator that for, for nothing. I'm not even charging you for them. I know, and I and appreciate it. I paid for it. that radiator. I bought yeah, that, that was an expensive radiator. $100. Yep. I'm basically Ooh. giving you 100 bucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh yeah, look at it. I cannot it. wait for this montage <laughs> video. We got we gotta change the color. This is color now. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh yeah. Uh, green that's baby. Nasty yellow. That's like whatever. It's green. I do like this. This is actually kinda nice. Yeah. That looks well, swell. Wow. Okay. Are you kidding me, Greg? No, it's kind of this looks like it's from like 2006. That's because it's my old. This is my old. Uh, this is my old test. But it's, I used this before. Right? It's, it's got all my old data on it. Keep going. Okay, that. folks. Uh, we're using a phone to film for this segment of the video. I'm sorry. I thought I had both camera batteries charged, but apparently neither of them were. McLovin started filming, and then five seconds into the shot, battery just gave out. So uh, we're using the phone for now. But we we have the build set up. Jacob, go ahead and show them. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can totally see just me in this reflection, but that's fine. <laughs> like, all you can see is me. Ah, uh, yeah. But you got your green in there. Yeah, I got that green. Kind of hides the hideousness of everything else. Yeah. Oh yeah, fans just pumping, baby. Just moving. <laughs> all right. Okay, and we have Windows 10 already installed. Uh, we have NZXT cam software, so you're able to change that LED to that nice looking uh, what do you call it? Monster Energy Green, Jacob? Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. So this is a non-overclockable CPU in the sense that we can't just up a multiplier and then, and then have a higher frequency as a result. Uh, we have to overclock using the base clock method. What we're looking at stock right now are core temperatures that are hovering around room temperature. Uh, Jacob, we're about to stress your CPU for the first time. We're gonna use a program called Cinebench, which is right here, this little icon. And uh, Cinebench will basically give your, your CPU a score um, for example, my build that you saw plenty of when you were at my house scored about a thousand CB. I think the highest I got was like 1010 10 CB, okay? That was a 340-ish dollar processor. So, given that your CPU is about five bucks, <laughs> how, uh, how well do you think yours will score? 244. I think you're strong I think you're, 240. Like I'm thinking strong 244. I think you're being a bit optimistic. Here. I think with this 30 something inch TV, we're gonna. I say 244. The TV has nothing to do with this. this I just, don't. I know 244. Go. 244. 
244. Strong All right. 244. Alright, here she goes. Is it even gonna load? You still think 244. This thing is running so quick, Greg. Look at this. How big's the uh, picture? Does the picture take up the whole black box? Yeah. Uh, 244. <laughs> I think I've seen this a couple of times. My guess, I benchmarked this before. I, don't, I actually don't remember what, what we scored on it. Uh, but you can check that out in the video right here if you're interested. Uh, but don't look over there because then it's not going to be where I put it. Uh, but I'm, I'm expecting somewhere around 180, 190 CB, I think. Maybe 190 if you're lucky. We haven't overclocked yet, so remember these are stock. I think we're running at 2. Point, yeah, 2.9 gigahertz. What was that, Greg? What did I say? 244? What does that say? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, Greg! Are you feeling it right now, Greg? Oh my goodness, 244, did I not call that? Are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me, Greg? <laughs> no, I'm not kidding you, apparently I'm not. <laughs> oh, uh, what were you saying, Greg? Like, you just gonna score like 180, like maybe 190, okay. so far. Just, just oh so that, my goodness. Just so that I'm being honest with my viewers, I will include this entire segment of the footage. I'm not gonna act like I didn't, you know, mm. like I got it right, okay? Mm. Yeah, I was clearly wrong here. Um, you mm. scored better at a stock frequency. You scored better than uh, Bo did with his Q6600, the video of which will be coming up very soon, by the way. He didn't even get that score with an overclocked Q6600. That's right. That's impressive, actually, for a $5 CPU. Oh, yeah, look at this. I'm on the board, baby. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. It's like, just, look at this. Just, <clears throat> yeah, feeling it in there. Super cool, baby. Super cool. Yeah, that's right. You suck. So we <laughs> raised the frequency of the CPU, its base frequency, from 200, it was at stock, to 221 times a locked multiplier of 14.5 gives us almost exactly 3200 uh, megahertz 3.2 gigahertz from our stock 2.9 gigahertz that we originally benched that you just saw so with that in mind we have no nothing utilizing the cpu let's go ahead and run cinebench again and see if we can't uh, can't hit that 300 mark we probably won't with this with this current frequency but we're going to keep pushing this thing because we do have that beast cooler that is completely mm. unnecessary so what what's your estimate i'm thinking 280 285. Uh, if, if, if it scales the way I think it will. I'm gonna say 278. So 278, 285. Okay. Might back to you when it stops. I said 278. I haven't looked over. You what? said 278? 278. What no. is it? 273. Oh yeah. Not bad. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get this thing at 300. So we're gonna hop back into the BIOS and uh, we're gonna increase that base frequency from 221, I think we're gonna go to 240 this time. We're gonna up the voltage a bit, which we can do with this motherboard, and then uh, hopefully hit that 300 CV mark. So at this point, we have our CPU clock address. This is essentially our base clock frequency, if you will. Uh, then we have a PCI, you, you wanna leave that at 100, that's fine. And the CPU multiplier, and if you look here, the multiplier is locked, so we can't go any higher than 14.5. Uh, so no matter what I try to change this to, it's like, it just, that's as high as we can go, 14.5. 14, 14 uh, so we do have a locked multiplier, it's not a black edition CPU, uh, but we still can change our CPU base clock frequency. So at 221 times 14.5, we're getting just over 3.2 gigahertz, I believe. So now we're gonna do 240. What's 240 times 14.5? I don't know. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> we're doing 245. And uh, one other thing I'm going to do, just in case, because I don't want to undervolt this thing, and I don't want it to just crash on us randomly, I'm going to give it some extra juice. I'm going to bump it up by, let's do, 100 and, let's do 150 millivolts. I don't know what the base voltage is, like when yeah. it's running at stock. But, I don't even know what this is. Uh, when you increase the frequency of your CPU, you have to accommodate that by increasing voltage. Typically, sometimes you have some headroom. Past a certain point, there's no way we're gonna be adding that voltage to keep up the frequency. But at what we're running at currently, three point, I think five, three point four gigahertz, 150 plus over the stock should be okay. If it's not, we'll reset the CMOS, we'll try again. Yeah. But I think, I think we're okay at at this configuration. I say 301, Greg, what are you feeling? Uh, See if you can get one today. 301? Yeah. 300. <laughs> what is this? It's like the price is right. Yeah, man. what is this? Yeah, I'm tired 300. of 300. Tired of being wrong. I hope it's 302 <laughs> or anything higher. Oh yeah, I'm feeling strong 301. I'm feeling 299. 
Oh, yeah, uh huh. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, and this look at this. Are like I, serious? I recorded this whole thing too. Oh my goodness! Are you, Are you feeling it, Greg? Look oh at this. For knowing nothing about computers to like all about it. Oh my goodness! I we need to get a lottery ticket. We literally we need to go buy a lottery ticket right now. I can't believe you got that on the dot. <laughs> I said 300. <laughs> I was still so close to you, but oh you, my still, goodness. you still beat me. Oh, I'm feeling it. This thing's gonna be flying when we get done. Okay, so uh, the overclocking to four gigahertz didn't didn't go very well. <laughs> How well did that go, Greg? Didn't go very well. <laughs> so, <laughs> Not yeah, well at all. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna have to reset CMOS. Well, now the glass is off. We can actually get like good footage. Yeah, but you uh, can see the blue motherboard. Yeah, that is a drawback, but that, what is that, NZXT? NZXT looks, NZXT looks good. Floating. Okay, now let's see, one of these files is four gigabytes, so we're gonna try to import this four gig file into Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm worried. You'll be alright. crash. You'll be alright. Oh, great. Look at this. It froze. Oh my god. For all those haters out there, look how good it's working. So yes, this computer can multitask. <laughs> 112 <laughs> views! Yeah. Right. So what are your impressions so far of how the computer's handling everything you expect to be able to do on it? Well, from what you were telling me the whole entire time, I expected a lot better, but... What? What was I telling, oh, yeah. was I telling like, you? Oh yeah, this plays 4K videos like a dream. I did not say that. You're like, yeah, the part one, or part two, after we went to Best Buy, you're like, oh yeah. This thing, you can handle 4K at 60 frames per second. So I'm like, okay, this is great. I jo I was joking, that card is definitely not capable of handling 4K at 60p. But other than that, actually, I'm kind of surprised, to be honest with you. Like, I thought it did a lot better than I was anticipating, especially loading this. I thought it wouldn't even, I thought, honestly, I thought it would crash. Okay, so it's finished now? Yeah. All right. That's not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> okay, so it looks like you can still edit at uh, half the native resolution. Now up it to full, and let's see if the computer can handle full. Yeah, Jacob, looks like you can handle full 1080p, uh, 30p footage at its full to, resolution. We need to go to 4K, full. 4K full, baby, and it's win it. Now we want this exported in the YouTube H.264 format, so click H.264. And that took a while. I go here. <laughs> I go all the way down. How far down is it? There we go. YouTube 1080p. Oh, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. There. <laughs> all right. So we are about to export in 1080p. Um, pull this up a little more. And okay, for some reason it's squished. Anyway, we're at 30p. You can see the dimensions here. And we're gonna go ahead and hit export. It's underneath the. Uh... <laughs> what is up with this? I don't, I don't know. No. It's like all of them have been like this. Estimated time remaining. So for a one minute video file, we're looking at a render time of roughly, roughly two minutes based on what Adobe Premiere is, sell is telling us. Is that quick? I don't know. Is this quick? I have no idea. But hey, that render time is actually not bad at all. And no, your laptop would not perform this well. I've seen the specs of your laptop. It's pretty good, isn't it? No, it's not. Look, this is okay. This is what you'll have to deal with. What if I upload you... like a 10 minute video? It's gonna take like an hour. No, it'll take about 25 minutes. I got stuff to do, Greg. I'm still young. Then multitask. This is a good, this is a good time. This is impressive. So at a basic 1080p, 30p, you're looking at about two minutes per every one minute of video footage. God. And that's exporting in the YouTube 1080p preset, so. Not bad. Good Are you trip. satisfied? I'm actually pretty satisfied. It looks cool. I think my mom's going to be on it way more than I am. Yeah, really? I still live with my mother. All right, so your video's been exported. Well, that's all we really needed to test was just how quick it would take to uh, render, uh, you know, a sizable file. One minute's not a lot, but we can extrapolate that roughly to, you know, about two minutes per every one minute of footage. But no, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, it's a lot quicker than I expected. By the way, we hooked up the uh, the fans on the radiator as well as uh, the three chassis fans up to the included fan hub with the entity's case. So now, right now they're on low. If we turn it to high, all fans will turn on high simultaneously. So Jacob, are you satisfied overall? Oh, I'm satisfied. So I want to get your opinions. Uh, what do you think about the case? How much money you spent and what your expectations were? And were those expectations met, exceeded? So... Under exceeded? Following my previous video where people thought I said tent instead of tint, I do like tinted. 
glass. So I do like the look of that. Negatives on it, good God, you always oh. see the reflection. Yeah, really. <laughs> but other than that, it's a lot quieter than I expected it to be. Um, I'm actually surprised that it ran YouTube videos as quick as it did. That, that was my number one feature of this whole entire build is like, I can run stuff a lot quicker. For the money I bought, according to the comments that people so rudely put in, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how much these cost. I guess I got a really good deal on like the power supply and then I guess like the SSD. No, you got, you got ripped on the SSD. Oh, of course. Well, we didn't price match Best that. Buy screwed me again, didn't well, they, you right? Screwed what was the first thing I nope, said when we walked in? <laughs> yeah, Best Buy screwed me before and they screwed me again. You kind of screwed yourself though. We didn't price match the PNY SSD. We could have, hey, no. No, I wasn't spending the money. It's <laughs> up to you, man. The, I'm glad we can't see the motherboard. <laughs> yeah, the motherboard but. is, it, I, I know it's hard to tell because it is reflective glass. You're pretty much seeing everything behind me. Uh, but you cannot see the motherboard with this current LED setup, which is great. So the board looks black. You can't see the mix match colors that were going on with that Foxconn board. They're gonna appreciate that. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Folks, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Oh my god, Greg. <laughs> really, right at the end? <laughs> it was literally right when we started filming. So this means that the uh, the overclock was pretty dirty. So we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna have to lower your overclock. Really? Speed. Okay, so we'll just lower your clock speed from, let's see, 245 megahertz base to 230. Okay. I don't know what that comes out to frequency-wise, but I uh, shouldn't notice that much of a performance cut. Yeah, of course not. All right, I'm gonna try to have Jacob end the video like I usually do. So I've seen like three of your videos. So wow, give it a, really? Give it a thumbs up if you thought it was cool, uh -huh. or give it a thumbs down if you hate life. No, if you <laughs> isn't that it? You give them the option. Okay, no, you say give it a thumbs up if you thought the video was cool. Give it a thumbs down if you feel the complete opposite. Give it a thumbs down. Or you, you or if you hate everything about not just life, everything oh about okay. life. <laughs> I feel like I'm sponsoring somebody. Like, right. Oh, right. so start over. All right, give it a thumbs up if. Give this video a thumbs. Don't this be video a thumbs up if you uh, liked it, or you know, give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it or hate everything about life. Click the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button. It's not. I'm not putting it there. If you haven't already. Well, that's retarded. <laughs> oh, no. That sounds so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. Science Studio. Thanks for learning. Science Studio. Thanks for learning. Don't do. Don't skip it's over. Science Studio. <laughs> Come on. This is McLovin signing off of Science Studio. Stay tuned for more content Thank at you. Science Studio. Thanks for subscribing. No, thanks for learning with us. Was this Bill Nye the Science Guy? No, just say, <laughs> just say thanks for thanks for learning with us. Restart. <laughs> Restart. There you go. Thanks for learning with us. That's all I wanted. That's all. That's I all wanted. I wanted. That's all I wanted. No, no, don't say that. That's all I wanted. Oh my god. <laughs>